I'm Victor Nitti, professor of urology and obstetrics and gynecology at the New York University Langone Medical Center, where I am also the director of female pelvic medicine and reconstructive surgery. Being a, a doctor was a lifelong dream of mine, never suspected or expected to be a surgeon until I went to medical school and the thrill of the operating room uh, hit me. Uh, and then the ability to um, fix things was very intriguing to me and to have immediate or somewhat immediate results and, uh, and impact patients in that way. I got interested in female pelvic medicine and reconstructive surgery during my residency when I thought that there were certain things that, uh, at least as urologists, we could do better than we were doing. And I think that what's happened over the last 20 years is we do do things uh, a lot better than, than we used to do. Uh, our surgical procedures are better, they're more precise. Uh, we've learned a lot from those who uh, came before us and now I think that the procedures that we do for our patients are better understood by us, better understood by uh, all of those that are performing the procedures. Uh, and as such, I think the quality of care that we can deliver from diagnosis all the way through treatment particularly surgical treatment, uh, has changed a lot in the last 20 years and it's been really, uh, really great to be part of that. One of the reasons that I went into academic medicine was really uh, for a love of teaching and a love of exploration and, and research. A book like Vaginal Surgery for the Urologist allows me and my partners, Dr. Narit Rosenblum and Dr. Ben Brucker, to really teach a large group of people. Uh, we can carefully formulate what we want to say in book form and really have that information given to a large number of people. So it's really an extension of the kind of teaching that I do and that we do uh, every day with our residents and with our fellows just in a little different format, but uh, that's really the rewarding thing and that's why, uh, that's why we decided to do the book. I think it's very important for people that practice female pelvic reconstruction to understand all of the techniques, know how to use different techniques in different situations so that we can really deliver optimal care to our patients. Um, sometimes one can't do what they anticipated doing and I think to have an alternative that you can do for a patient in a given circumstance is really important. I think that step-by-step -step approach is really valuable to those who are already doing surgery or perhaps who are just getting started in, in doing female pelvic surgery. It gives the readers an opportunity to benefit from the years of experience of the authors who have written the chapters and the surgeons who have performed the procedures. And we've really tried to make it as simple to follow as possible so that by reading the step-by-step -step descriptions and viewing the numerous videos that are associated with those procedures, surgeons can get a really good idea of how we do things and then can adapt some of those principles to their own practices. We really had to take our time to select appropriate cases, appropriate surgeries to film so that we can really have a comprehensive video library by which surgeons can look at and really get an idea of the multiple different surgeries that can be done and even within similar surgeries various different techniques. So it really does take a lot of preparation and we have to make sure that when we're describing surgeries and doing surgeries we stay consistent so that we deliver a consistent message both in the written form and in the video form.